I have been interested in what causes memory loss and brain atrophy with aging for a long time. I have written two books about ways we can protect our brain against aging and prevent late life Alzheimer's disease. I also work with Maryland Public Television to put together a PBS program called Fight Alzheimer's Early, Six Steps to Keep Your Brain Young. Let me begin by telling you how the memory parts of the brain work. There is a part of your brain called hippocampus. You have one hippocampus on the left side and one hippocampus on the right side. Each one is almost the size of your thumb. Without hippocampus, you cannot memorize phone numbers, you cannot remember people's names. And this is the part of the brain that shrinks the most with aging. So what causes shrinkage in the hippocampus? What makes the brain smaller as we grow older? Latest research shows that there are many causes for atrophy in the brain after age 50. Diabetes, hypertension, obesity, sleep apnea, stress, and a stroke can all cause damage to the brain and make it smaller. People with hypertension have a smaller brain. Those with sleep apnea may have 18% atrophy in their brain. Alzheimer's disease is one particular factor that may affect shrinkage in the brain in some people more than others. But these other common factors affect everyone equally. People who have multiple vascular risk factors shrink their brain 16 times more than those who don't have these risk factors. So it's important to realize many factors that relate to blood flow can shrink the brain. Just like hippocampus can shrink with aging, it can also grow with many factors at any age. Latest research shows that there are a dozen factors associated with bigger hippocampus and better memory. I would like to tell you about three important factors that have been linked with better memory and bigger hippocampus. One thing you could do is to tease your memory. Another thing you can do is to strengthen your heart. And the third thing I'd like to talk to you about is how laughter is good for the brain. So would teasing your memory and memorizing things expand the size of your brain? Will your brain be bigger if you memorize several textbooks? Latest research shows that yes, indeed, memorizing large amounts of information causes your brain to grow, for your brain to become bigger. One study showed that medical students who were preparing for their final exam experienced an enlargement in the size of hippocampus. These medical students had the brain MRI at the beginning of their study period. They had a second MRI at the end of their study period, the day after their exam, and then three months later, after they were on vacation. The study showed that during the first three months of studying hard, the brain had grown, and more importantly, this growth had continued even after they had stopped studying. More research is underway to find out why, even though they were not memorizing, their brain had continued to grow. The second factor, which I consider to be the most important one for growing your hippocampus and sharpening your memory is to increase blood flow to your brain. Your brain is a highly vascular organ. The amount of blood vessels in your brain is more than any other organ per unit area. Your brain is only 2% of your body weight, yet it consumes 20% of oxygen and nutrients that comes from your heart. This slide shows what happens if you dissolve away all the brain cells and look at the brain and the blood vessels in it. As you can see, most of the brain seems to be filled with blood vessels. No wonder improving blood flow is so important for your brain health and fitness. One study showed that people with better fitness have better memory and bigger hippocampus. If you look at this slide on the left, you can see that an increase in volume of hippocampus is associated with better fitness. The same applies to the hippocampus on the right side. People with better fitness have bigger hippocampus. But is it that some people are born with a bigger hippocampus and can have better fitness? Would obtaining and gaining better physical fitness increase your memory? Let's ask this question. If you were to improve your fitness in one year, would your hippocampus grow in one year? Would your memory improve in one year? A recent study published in 2011 showed just that. Participants 
who are enrolled in a study to walk three times a week for one year experienced a significant enlargement in the size of their hippocampus and in parallel their memory improved. As you can see on top left figure, over a one year period there was an increase in volume in participants who exercised, here shown in blue, versus those who performed stretching exercises without any huffing and puffing over one year. The fitness group experienced an enlargement in the size of the hippocampus. The stretching group experienced a shrinkage in the hippocampus. This is what happens to brain after age 50 after all. So this slide shows that indeed increasing fitness reverses the effects of aging on the brain and make your brain and particularly your hippocampus bigger. Would you need to exercise one year to make your hippocampus bigger? What if you exercise for six months? What if you exercise for three months? In a study published in 2010, researchers found that hippocampus can grow in size even after three months of exercise. Please look at the pictures on top panels and lower panels. These are pictures of the brain in participants at the baseline and on three months after an uh, exercise program of cycling in a stationary bike. The hippocampus, highlighted in blue, has literally grown in size from panel B to panel D. This means the hippocampus grew in size in the same participant in three months. I personally find these results amazing. These results are particularly encouraging because they show that increasing blood flow through increasing exercise can have an impact in the brain even in a short period of time as three months. So far we have talked about the importance of teasing your memory, memorizing things, and ways of improving your blood flow to increase the size of your hippocampus and making your brain a sharper, younger brain. But what else can you do? Let me tell you what stress can do to your brain. Many research studies have shown that stress can shrink the size of hippocampus they can literally kill your brain cells. This panel shows how a brain cell can shrink with stress. The reverse is also true in that reversing the stress in one way through meditation can indeed stop the shrinkage in your brain and make it bigger. One study showed that hippocampus can grow bigger with meditation. Other ways of reducing stress can also improve your brain health. But in this particular study, participants tried meditation for two months. Compared to people who did not meditate, the meditators had a bigger hippocampus. The areas shown on top slides in yellow and orange show areas of hippocampus that grew in size. And the graph on the lower panel shows the incredible amount of hippocampal growth in meditators. So in summary, there are at least three things that you could do to improve your brain size and improve your memory. There are many other things you could do to expand the size of your hippocampus and making your brain sharper and younger. At Neurology Institute for Brain Health and Fitness, we have designed a program to turn the latest science discoveries into a fun and enjoyable program we called BRAIN, Brain Rejuvenation and invigoration now. In this nine-month program, which is based on the latest scientific discoveries, our goal is to enhance your memory, to increase the size of your hippocampus, and to increase your fitness. We will measure these variables at the beginning of the program, and at the end of the program we show how we have achieved our goals through specific objective findings. In this nine-month program, we first obtain a full evaluation we check your brain MRI, we obtain blood tests, we evaluate your memory, we evaluate your fitness through measurement of oxygen consumption in one minute, and then we monitor these and other factors such as blood pressure, sleep, and stress score at three months and six months. We will show you how your memory improves, how your brain grows in size, and how you feel happier and sharper.